This is the Transportation TV News Update. I'm Tony Dorsey reporting. A draft proposal from the co-chairs of President Barack Obama's National Commission on Fiscal Responsibility and Reform includes a recommendation to increase the national gasoline fuel tax by 15 cents starting in 2013. According to a November 10th draft proposal from the commission chairman, former Senator Alan Simpson and former Clinton Chief of Staff Erskine Bowles, the gas tax increase should be dedicated to fully fund the transportation trust funds and therefore eliminating the need for further general fund bailouts. Meanwhile, a bipartisan duo of U.S. Senators urged the Commission to call for a gradual 25 cents per gallon increase in the federal tax on gasoline to pay for both transportation infrastructure projects and to help reduce the national debt. Senators Tom Carper, Democrat from Delaware, and George Voinovich, Republican from Ohio, said in a letter to the Commission chairman dated November 5th, that this proposal will remove the approaching need for further general fund transfers to the Highway Trust Fund and will create more than 750,000 jobs. The Bipartisan Debt Commission was created by President Obama in February with a charge to identify policy improvements that will enhance the nation's fiscal situation. The Commission is scheduled to release a report in December that is expected to include recommendations on balancing the budget by 2015. The Transportation TV News Update is devoting special coverage this week to the AASHTO Annual Meeting held October 28th through November 1st in Biloxi, Mississippi. Among the highlights was the workshop on high-speed and intercity passenger rail called Opportunities and Challenges, which featured FRA Deputy Administrator Karen Ray and North Carolina DOT Secretary of Transportation Gene Conti, who's chairman of AASHTO's Standing Committee on Rail Transportation. Conti says everything was on the table, from tough issues like the future of federal funding and setting standards for the creation of the next generation of passenger rail equipment. Well, one of the things is that AASHTO is very committed to high-speed rail now, and the new website that's up, all of that is very important, being able to share information among the states, because some of us have progressed farther than others, and, you know, we need to share information and best practices. and. That's uh, Ashto's enabling us to do that in a big way, so it's good to get together. Conti says now more than ever, states must continue to communicate the value of high-speed and inner-city passenger rail projects to the nation. That's why the group has stepped up its efforts to create a coordinated communication strategy that includes state DOTs, the FRA, and other key stakeholder groups. Also at the annual meeting, two states took home the top prizes in this year's America's Transportation Awards. AASHTO, AAA, and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce announced that the Missouri Department of Transportation's I-64 St. Louis project had been selected as the 2010 America's Transportation Awards Grand Prize winner. The Mississippi Department of Transportation Laurel S-Curve Reconstruction Project won the People's Choice Award. AASHTO Executive Director John Horsley said, these projects are making travel smoother, safer, and less congested for millions of motorists every day. We know that taxpayers understand the value of quality transportation, and this contest shows how states are investing their limited resources wisely. The competition recognizes outstanding transportation projects in four categories, on time, under budget, innovative management, and Best Recovery Act project. AASHTO presented a $10,000 cash award to each of the winning transportation departments to be used to support the charity or academic scholarship program of its choice. That's the Transportation TV News Update. I'm Tony Dorsey reporting.